ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later... Mount Ebbet. 21X. No. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Perfect place for little children to go play! <laughs> Of course, being a child, you trip over your own feet. See you later, little guy. Oh, sorry, little little genderless child. Who knows? Whatever you want. It to do. or enter. Oh, sure, enter. <coughs> uh, I am not gonna remember these. Name the fallen human. I know special names don't matter right at the start, so... Biff, 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 Meth. It's been... I, I paused for a minute thinking about one of those uh, copyrighted names, but <laughs> I decided, nah, not not right now. Oh, I was just sitting here waiting for him to wake up. He was awake. Okay. I don't trust you. I know I can't trust you. I just grabbed my headphones real quick. I know. Oh, my mistake. I wasn't doing any voices. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Yeah, this is what Flowey sounds like. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here! I guess little old me will have to do... Ready? Here we go! Go away, Flowey. See that heart? It's your soul! The very accumulation of your being! Why'd you rip out my heart and put it in a box? Oh, do I have to press enter here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course! You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. No, thanks. I know what it is, and I know you get pissed if I don't accept your love. I can't remember if it was fatal or not, but I'm gonna do it as best as I can, sort of. And I'm here, love is shared through little white friendliness palettes. Are you ready? No. Move around, get as many as you can. Move around. I got into a bad spot. <laughs> you idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed! Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! <laughs> nah. Oh no, I am surrounded. But I got better now. So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak spo spoiler wise for anyone who ends up watching this, but she really just nuked Flowey. Really, <laughs> right at the start. Yeah, I I thought she knew what Flowey was. Mama goat. Mama goat saved 
What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Why? How often does this happen? <laughs> and or are they your dinner, I guess? Where would the other Faldens go? Oh, that explains it right there. The first human to come in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Holy cow, the music is pretty loud in my ears. I'm not sure if it's like a... No, I'm not going to quit. Um, oh, there is no volume menu. Oh, well. Now I know how Joel feels. <laughs> Because I'm assuming the volume's okay on your end, right? Mm hmm. It's even worse for Vinny when he plays all those indie games. <laughs> I understand so well now. Um. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Why? Why would I be filled with determination just being, uh. Lost down a hole. Everything is determination. Determination runs through you. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. This is where you live now. You're just gonna be trapped in this catacomb forever. I'm just gonna walk through that door and leave you behind. Goodbye. This is your home. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. They're full of puzzles. Fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Oh, God, poor Joel and Finny. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Yep, that's a puzzle. What's this say? Only the fearless ones may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both rock, not the middle road. Oh, okay. To make progress here, you'll need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I've labeled the ones you need to flip. What if I don't? What if I do it the wrong way? Stay on the path. I'm not on the path. Um, dude, there's only a couple of switches. I did a good job. I'm gonna stay off the path now. Just because I'm curious now. What's this one do? No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. No, I'm pretty sure I want to place this one. I'm not allowed to. Okay, fine. 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 Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Can I press it now? It doesn't even work. Okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid to do some exploring. There's extra dialogue hidden all over the game. Oh, I'm sure I'll wander a bit. I mean, this game is kind of meant for wandering. As a human living underground, the monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. Yes, teach me fireball. That'll help. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Now what happens if I talk to you? Alright. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? I thought I was talking to the dummy. Aha! 
Well, I often simple with the start. Start with the simple. How do you do? You could ask them about their favorite books. Jokes can be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? I'm actually thinking of that. I would say shingles, but that's just... Shingle. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, I thought it was amusing. Heard me through my mic, didn't you? <laughs> you encountered the dummy. Um, a cotton heart and the button eye. You are the apple of my eye. What was it describing itself? Huh. What if I just stare it down? And here I am. I'm staring down the dummy. <laughs> Be nice to it. It looks like it's going to fall over. I'm staring down the dummy. I, I, I say that, like... Not even remembering if this was one of the special things. Six. I think there was six beeps this time. Is it actually increasing? No, it's not. I'm just gonna stare it down one more time. Checking is usually just how you find out more about the character. Okay, see you later. <laughs> I will just stare everyone down. This is this is how I will play the game. The next room awaits. I did a good job. <laughs> It's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Is it behind the vines? No. I'm off the path again. Froggy attacks me. That, that's a nice bobblehead you have. Ribbit. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Okay, see you later. <laughs> the western room is the eastern room's bloop. Ah, uh, ha. Huh. I remember that from the SL. But I don't remember the pattern, and I will not remember the pattern. Actually, it looks like it's one section, two, up, three, five, I I'm just trying to count possible tile ranges, like two, th three, five, I and think then you might be overthinking this a little. probably. This is a completely fake trap, then, isn't it? <laughs> Take my hand for a moment. Oh. A and and here I was just trying to figure out the puzzle. I did it. <laughs> Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Hey, it's a puzzle. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh. Sure. You have 
done excellently thus far, my child. This is like how Steven felt. <laughs> well, she is Toriel. She's like a literal tutorial. <laughs> However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh no! She's left me alone! And the music got dramatic and... I'm hyperventilating! Oh no, I'm panicking! This room is ridiculously long. I don't think I could have kept up playful hyperventilation the entire time. I really don't think I could have. You're putting yourself in more danger than you are. I I I knew I knew you wouldn't leave me. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. I couldn't see you, but I knew you weren't too far away. Thank you for trusting me. Your traps weren't even traps. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Mom. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. <gasps> I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. That's something that I never really bothered to think about until she handed me the cell phone right now. I knew about the cell phone in Undertale. However, how do they have reception underground? Magic. Yeah, that makes sense. Make makes sense. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? You can access the phone in your inventory and call her as much as you want, anytime you want. Um... Oh, it's just a direct line to her? I, I, or do I select people when I get more numbers, if I ever? You can get more numbers. Ah. More of a mess around kind of item. It's fun to play with, though. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello! I hope that suffices. <laughs> she hung up on me! I'm gonna call her back and tell her how I feel about that! Hi. To say hello again? Salutations! Is that enough? You should hang up on me again! It's so rude! This is Toriel. Are you bored? I should have given a book to you. My apologies. Why not use your imagination to divert yourself? Pretend you are a monarch. Rule over the leaf pile with a fist of iron. Can you do that for me? Again. Story. Hello, my child. Sorry, I do not have much to say. It was nice to hear your voice, though. Hello, my child. <sighs> yeah. Well, thanks, mom. Yeah, I said I said in a provocative manner. Would that make you happy to call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. She hung up on me again. I I'm sure there's a lot more entertainment to be had with that, but I wouldn't push too hard. I think one of those phone calls literally goes on for half an hour. Well, I don't think I want that. But I, I just talked to her a lot, and she's calling already. Uh, sure, sure. Hi. My yes, yes, I have left my room. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. 
It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Hey! Hey, frog! Hey! Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way, or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. I don't trust you, frog. You sound like a like Speedy Gonzales. <laughs> Speedy Gonzales concert firm for frog. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Oh, she wanted me to play in the leaf pile. These are the leaf piles, but... Oh no, I guess there was a leaf earlier. <gasps> Wizmon approached meekly. Console terrorize. Halfway through yours, bursts into tears and runs away. Uh, You're a big boy. Okay, see you later. That says, take one. Take a piece of candy. Yeah. I want a piece of candy. But I'm not a jerk. I... Okay, to be fair, once when when we were... When I was out trick-or-treating, uh, I actually... Uh, how do I back out of this? Ah, huh, here we go. There, there was a uh, take one bowl out. I, I did take more than one, but to be fair, those were bags of chips. They, they weren't just little tiny candies. You are a sinner. You might repent for your sins. Uh, they were. Maybe I'm supposed to terrorize Wisman. Uh, now I kind of want to see it again. I is it a random encounter around here? Yeah, they're random. They're all random. Wisman approached meekly. If if I can't console Wisman for running away, maybe I can terrorize it. This hemp I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like kill the thing if I terrorize it too much. It, it, it's 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 okay, Wisman. Okay, okay, okay. See you see you later. Yeah. Hey, Wisman's dropping money. So I'm gonna fall through the floor here, probably. Ow. I could have just gone right around that. So I will. I'm just doing some doodling on the side. There's nothing wrong with that. One day you'll have to show me how to combine these streams. I'm pretty sure it's just an uh, invitation into the Pixel thing. And then. I've not run Pixel yet. I've only known how to, like... Just a little bit know how to run uh, the other stream. Ah, flies. Seems reluctant to fight me. Does that mean that I win? It does. Hello? This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? I legitimately prefer cinnamon. Cinnamon is best. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Why am I still carrying the cell phone? It's yours now. Hello? This is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I, I know what your preference is, but would you, would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? 
Right? Right? I, I, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. <laughs> Two more steps? No. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. You don't say. I bet this one's not going to recommend me pushing it, but I'm going to push it anyway. Oh, hi, Froggit. It, it's still a nice bobblehead you've got. That was new. Get out of here, Froggit. Froggit is a smart boy. Ah, uh, yes, I know where the solution to this was. Yeah. Is it really just wall to wall? Oh. Please don't step on the leaves. Step on the leaves. Step on the leaves. Step on the leaves. Oh. That's why they didn't want me to step on the leaves. This is full of froggets. Froggy Day, you, you, you look so much better than your frog at me. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but what splattered anyway? So, I should be able to spare them both now? Yeah. Okay. So, it's wall to wall, that's... <laughs> I was saying pretty simple, but I can't remember exactly where the... <laughs> it's, it's not quite the... Okay. I see it. It was too wide, not three. But now I can't make that same mistake. Mold small. What are you? It's mold small. It just said it. But what is it? It's a jello mold. I I can bounce too. Sexy wiggle. Sure. I mean, after some people are into that. It is a jello. I imitate the jello again. Um, uh, okay. Ouch. It's ruminating. Okay. See you later, Jello. I don't eat you today. Eating people isn't nice. But it's Jello. Three out of four rocks. So, so one rock will be mad. It, it tripped into a line of mold moss. Immediate mercy doesn't work, does it? I just don't earn any gold from it. Okay. Sometimes you can just run. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? <clears throat> so you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Gotta move more than that. Move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Good job. That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. You did it. Sure. To stay there? You're giving me a real workout. 
Yeah, okay. See you later, Rock. Knowing the mouse one day might leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Save at the mouse hole! This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. The thing squeaks! I'm gonna go check on the mouse again! Oh, no, he didn't come out of the hole. Oh, hi, ghosts. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps seeing Z out loud repeatedly and pretended to sleep. Okay, okay. I didn't know that he was making sounds. Move it with force. Nah. Zay, 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 What if I can just walk around it? No. 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 Engage ghost. Can't get Get out of here, ghosts! Here comes Nata Blook. You're really good at laying on the ground. Whoa. Um, interesting. Looks just a little bit better. Your tears are not annoying in the least. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Okay. Sounds good to me. Wants to show me something. Let me try. No. No. Oh. Yes. That is perfectly fine. I thought you were trying to shoot me again. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. So, I assume I'm just walking over Naps to Blook now. Sure, why not? It's a spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave seven nice. gold coins in the web. That was the other web for. If 18 gold, I can't afford 18 gold. Some spiders crawled down and gave me a donut. <gasps> I got it! Spider treats! Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down at the. Oh, okay, so th they were gonna tell me if I missed something right up the way. Sometimes. Uh, can't eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Spider food. Quite literal spider food. Sure. They like being eaten. My, f my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I heard using F4 can 
can make you have a full screen. Oh, that would have been helpful earlier. But now I just don't care. <laughs> to be fair, it said that in the menu. I didn't remember the entire menu. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What did you think of that? Very helpful. It's bad. But sure, it's helpful. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if the name isn't yellow. Pick on or don't pick on. Okay. Finally, someone gets it. Um, I kind of thought they were going to be bouncy balls. Oh, he's yellow. So I can press back like this and do Mercy. that. Hey, you gave me five bucks. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave this. Leave room in your pockets for that. Oh, okay. There is just one switch. Is it in this hall? Wait! Oof. <gasps> it's a vegetoid. That's not what I want to do. I, I don't want to eat the vegetable. Oh, eat it. Oh, eat it. Talk. Okay. Devour. Dinner. Dinner. I pat my stomach. It just offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! Oh! Oh, oh, good. Oh, wait, there's my greens. Give me the green! I failed. Vegetoids here for my health. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. I changed vitamin A! Ah! Carrot rain! Can I, can I have dinner again? Cucumber! Attacked by the Gorn! <gasps> I got a nip. I'm not gonna pick on you. Again. I guess. They're giving me a lot of money, which is surprising. You can literally grind off people by being nice to them. I found a faded ribbon. That's an item. You should equip that. I equipped the ribbon. Is it still in the... oh no. How do I examine these a little bit closer? Bandage heals 10 hit points. It has already been used several times. <laughs> oh, now I have to find a switch. I knew it was in the middle. I saw it in the middle. I didn't remember it in the middle. Fine. I won't pick on you again. Can you stop throwing bouncy balls at me? Gnashes its teeth. Oh no! It likes playing with its balls. It looks like there's something in the center room. It makes me curious. Oh, hi. I fell down a hole. 
No, I can't go up. Go on, what's help me? Wait, guys can fly, can't they? Oh well. Oh, there's another Vegetoid over there. Let's see. Far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. A rotation in perspective. Sure. Vegetoid came back! Oh, wait. Okay. Well, I cancelled the attack anyway. As you talk, give me dinner. Oh. It's a red switch. Press it, nothing happens. It's a blue switch. Press it, nothing happens. It's a green switch. Press it, yeah. Nothing happened. Okay. It's not an exit, it's a change in perspective. Does that mean that I'm supposed to just go through the way that I came in? No, looks. Enough with your balls! Let's see, this sends me back to nowhere? Oh. If you can read this, press the blue switch. <gasps> it's a pair of looks decided to pick on me! Please don't pick on me! Oh. Okay. What an eyesore. The blue switch, which is hidden here, right? Yeah. The only place out of sight. Oh, change in perspective. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you did it. Make up. Crawled up close. Oh, mold smalls are immediate. I get it. Mold smalls are not threatening. I don't care! <laughs> what a rude little bug. I still don't care. It's a very rude bug. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Hmm. What if I throw mercy? Aha! Uh -huh. So I can spare half a party. Good to know. I thought I had to make everyone happy before I could even attempt. That's the red switch. Oh, okay. Oh. Though I guess technically it's a little bit faster to dual spare the looks. But you'll say it helps sometimes. Green switch. Pair of vegetoids, huh?
I would like another snack, please. Eat your greens. Eat your greens. I failed to eat the cucumber. Very well. Just have a little bit of a snack of the Vegetoid. Then I ask the other one for dinner, because I'm still a little hungry. Onion! Oh, wait, that's an onion. Ew. Oh, I didn't eat it, so I can't. I don't know why I hesitated to eat the onion. I blame you. <laughs> there we go. Now I've had my dinner. I think green was supposed to be over here. Okay, see you later. I'm gonna fall through the leaves. No, I can't fall through the leaves. Hey, frog! Yes, between you and me, I saw Toria come out of here just a little while ago. He was carrying some groceries. I that's what they were for. We're out to intimidate to talk to a wee bit. <gasps> it's a knife! You found a knifey. It's a knifey. A knifey! <laughs> I met someone who used to call them Kinifis. Kinifis? Kinifis. Huh. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Oh. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. No, I'm gonna talk to these leaves first. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins give you determination. I was looking at the leaves. Smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. This is your home now. I have another surprise for you. It's my home. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Pat, pat, pat. Something burning. Uh, make yourself at home. I decided to take a nap. I found a cold slice of cinnamon butterscotch pies. Deep photo frame. Mm -hmm. Why it's empty? Oh, I don't know. I think that would make sense. Next to kids' shoes and size for sizes. Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. <laughs> Seen this type of flam before, but you do not know its name. A flower. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. Sure. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page Stop is reading. filled with jokes of a similar caliber. What? Stop what? reading her diary. Why? You, you, you don't want more jokes? Water sausages. Uh, yeah, yeah. P. 
peek inside. Scandalous. It's the sock drawer. Is this a cactus? <gasps> the cactus. It's the most center of plants. Can never trust a potted cactus. But cactuses are friends. Room under renovations. Room under renovations. Inside the drawer are some flower seeds and broken crayons. Crayons! A sticker. Up already, I see. Up. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? Boldly ask. What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's, it's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Which way's out? Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Where's the exit? That doesn't sound like a use for a snail. I have to do something. Stay here. It's just an interesting snail fact. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Never heard of such a thing. <gasps> Gingerbread monsters. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. A... For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Brand name chocolate! Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2010X. Okay, see you later. I'm gonna go in the basement now. You wish to return. Know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. 10 out of 10 parenting skills. Well, I'm trying to assert my independence. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I'm trying to assert my independence. You told me to do that. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I can't let Asgore hurt you. I will prevent this by hurting you. Hey, how you doing? Can't think of any conversation topics. Oh wait, these are homing. That was a very bad idea. <laughs> I tried to think of something to say again, but... She slapped me!
Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this problem. Standing still there wasn't was the solution either. Yeah, it looks me. Examine. 8080 knows best for you. Ow! You hit me. Ow! That's so rude. Talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Oh, they bounce too. <laughs> okay, sure. Thanks, Mom. Oh no, she's gonna kill me. And then who is she going to take care of? Toriel prepares a magical attack. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Stare. Oh, I was standing still, petty, but. Now it's just on the easy part. Apparently. She's getting tired of it. I'm fighting so hard. I think in the tip did say someday you may have to spare someone well, they're not even yellow. So maybe they mean something like now. You should always check all of your options. Well there's not much in the act, and then there's That's true, this one does seem to be pro progressing. Instead of just trying to talk, men don't want to talk. Warhound takes a deep breath. Attack will run away. I can apparently just stand around and do nothing. Stop it. Ah. Takes another deep breath. Stop looking at me that way. What way am I looking at you? Go away. I'm, I'm trying, Toriel. You're blocking the only exit. Through you. Takes a deep breath. I know you want to go home. That's. But please, go upstairs now. I will take good care of you there. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <sighs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. 
would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. But what if I need a pie refill? Turn around, make eye contact with her as she leaves or anything. Just keep the back turned. Sure. This You're is... right about the pie refill thing, though. I'm going to give you just a little advice early off. That's the strongest healing item in the entire game. Oh, interesting. You might want to save it for... Something you have trouble on later. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration, or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me empower the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> is a balloon head! Interesting. The end! <laughs> You know, if you kill Toriel the first time and then you reset the game, Flowey will just chew you out for that. Interesting. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. <gasps> I knew it! Everyone's watching me. <gasps> There's a crack in the ground. Poor stick. I didn't even step on the stick. Who's following me? Who's invisible and following me? <laughs> I'm being followed. I want to see the shadow again. Show me the shadow. Hi, how you doing? No? Okay. Hi, Grandpa! Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Is that your foot? Let's see, how, how did many people often make him sound, um... Hey buddy, hey pal. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. <laughs> Anyways, you're a human, right? <laughs> that's hilarious. Well, I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know... I don't really care about capturing anybody. <laughs> now my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. 
Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Hey, you know how to voice the fire, say. <laughs> Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. So, bro. I, I think I think I remember. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Uh, staring at this lamp. <laughs> I can't. I, I got completely off key with, uh, with papyrus. <laughs> I don't know. better mic for papyrus. <laughs> oh, w was it like screeling the whole time or something? <laughs> Darn you, papyrus! <laughs> I'll try. I'll try to tone it down a little bit or move it away from my mouth. Um, there. All right, all right. Let's, let's try that then. Um, staring at this lap. It's really cool. You wanna look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! Was that any better? A little bit. <laughs> okay. I will capture a human! Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to run back while guard! He can't even take himself seriously. What the heck, Papyrus? People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Sure. I, I guess I'm not very good at this voice thing yet. Or Papyrus is just talking too much. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sons! You're not helping! You lazy bones! All you do is sit and burn doggle! You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey. <laughs> Take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sons! <laughs> Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! Uh, why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, sounds like you're really working yourself <laughs> down to the bone. To my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Learned that those uh, drum rolls and those uh, bad humor are all completely canon. <laughs> you ought to get going. You might come back, and if it does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> okay, see you later! <laughs> Uh, uh, actually, hey, I hate to bother you, uh, can you do me a favor? Uh, I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might make his day. Oh, don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. I went the other way. The 
presence of that lamp still fills you with determination. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Yeah. The box has a tough glove. Let's put away the butterscotch pie and guess a toy knife. Depends if you plan on fighting people. Oh, it's a weapon. Okay. And I don't actually care. I wasn't sure if it was like a special equip item that did something. A snow drake flutters forth. Let's see. Laugh, joke, heckle. Hey, I know some jokes now! Sans taught me so well! You make a bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? It smells like a wet pillow. And I'm gonna heckle you. Boom! Insults towards humans. I cut him off. I was practicing something. I laugh at Snow Drake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Yo. You're hilarious. Looking. Realize its own name is a pun and it's freaking out. I make another bad ice pun. Aha, nice try. Ice try. Snowdick is practicing its next pun. I laugh at Snowdick before it says anything, but it is practicing its pun. I thought that would be a good time. Just sit right here. It's assessing the crowd. I make another bad ice one. Check it. Let's see. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. That probably would have helped. Better not snowflake out. Ouch, it got me. Smiling at its own bad joke. Now I can laugh. Hey, Miles, Dad was wrong! It's a cool joke. Uh, wait, did I guess it is? Okay, see you later. Oh no, skeletons! Ah! It's a fishing pool. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. <laughs> oh. Okay. <clears throat> so, as I was saying about Undying, I'm pretty sure that wasn't his voice. They're just rapidly looking at one another. Sure. <laughs> I, I couldn't do a gasp in that voice, apparently. <coughs> Oops! Cyrus's voice is gonna be the death of you. Hey, maybe. Sans! Oh my god! Is that a human? Actually, uh, I think that's a rock. Hey, oh, is that in front of me?
down to the rock. Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yeah. Oh my god! Sans! I finally did it! I'm dying well. I gotta... I, I, I gotta solidify voices, but uh... Practice is something, and I have no practice, so. <laughs> huh. mm. Anywho, Skeletor, just do Skeletor. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't seen enough He-Man, and I can't continually remember that. Apparently, everybody does Skeletor. <laughs> Some reason. I'll be some. <laughs> Popular, popular, popular! <laughs> Human! Hey, water. There we go. Might help a little. A little. You shall not pass this area! I, the Green Papyrus, shall stop you! the right one at all, but hey, it seems consistent. Let's go with it. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, <laughs> that one well. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'll, I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Okay. <sighs> Ice cap struts into view. I can't tell exactly if that drill is its nose or its eye. I would like to imagine it's its eye. Check, compliment, ignore, steal. Check. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Your head looks so... Naked. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. Definitely. You have a great hat, Ice Cap. Doll doesn't know. Me? I just got here. It's snowing dandruff. Huh. Let's try one more time before I take his hat. His hat's too loud to hear. It wasn't yellow, so... Actually, before I steal, I can just ignore him. That's usually the best way to get back at NQC. That's a good point. <laughs> Secretly checking to see if you're looking at his hat. I continue not looking at his hat. It seems defeated. Better a hatter than a hater. Oh, it's gonna come back down. Okay. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. See you later. Just walk away. <laughs> Some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well crafted sentry station! Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman! No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman! Oh, I was pretty sure I knew who was talking, but. or who wrote it, but. Absolutely no moving! <laughs> it's the first encounter with a doggo! I didn't know that Doggo was the first Doggo. It's the Doggo! Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example. A human! I'll make sure it never moves again! Doggo blocks away. Check Doggo. 
It's an inside of my movement. Puppies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. Okay, puppy. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Pat the doggo. Do pat the doggo. What? I said pat! Pet doggo again. Where is that coming from? I I don't have a choice. I have to sit here and pat doggo for a bit. <gasps> There's no end to it. I could give him mercy, but he must surrender. Doggo has been pet again. I'm gonna pet a doggo again. Pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. Doggo has been pet. One more! Oh. Is not moving. I can't make the dog treats for this. Is this a bell? Do I get to ding the bell? Yeah. Hello. Is anyone there? No. Hey, I'm playing the skills duo. Tired of it. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special time. Have you seen him the Don't move. I won't hurt you. There's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. I see a stop sign. You stop, right? Stop signs are red. So I drew blue stop signs instead. Simple, right? <laughs> when thinking, we'll find think about blue stop signs. Sure, sure, Sans, sure. Sure. Blue stop signs. I want to read the sign. I want to read the sign. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, snow in town. Oh! Okay, nice. I can go north. It's a snowman. I don't. I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'll be so kind, Tabla, please take a piece of me. I'm going to get far away. Yes. I have snowman. No, I steal please. your carrot. Do not eat snowman. <gasps> Cannibalize snowman. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! <laughs> that in itself is pretty bad. Really fast with this. Neat. This arm 
Mr. Quill and Minister Honeysuck! Sounds like fun? Yeah. Because... The amount of fun you will probably have... Is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. I think I need more water. And or I understand why people... <coughs> don't do voices for very long now. Oh. Sans, what did you do? Mm, I think the human has sold. Oh, okay. Have this, please. Okay, try now. I was just gonna walk around it, but uh. I guess I'm gonna do this instead. <sighs> Poor Papyrus. Jeez. Incredible! You slippery snail! You sold it so easily! Too easily! However, the next puzzle will not be so easy! By my brother Sans! You will surely be confounded! I know I am! <laughs> hey Sans, how's your puzzle doing? Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, uh, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He's calling it his battle buddy. Man, isn't my brother cool? Oh, he's singing him. I think he legitimately thinks his brother is cool. Well, that's true. I actually don't know much about Sans. I could be, uh... Jeremy ones. I don't understand why these aren't selling. Oh, I, I, th I think I know the reference of the. I've only seen a reference to this once, I believe. And if it is, it's the perfect weather for something called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, just 15 gold. Sure. Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. He is so happy. So happy. He loves serving up smiles. I think I should walk ahead and I think figure out. I'm trying to think. Huh. I know you're really close to a secret boss. Oof. Oh no. The golf ball. It is escaping. Go this way. I'm not very good at ball. Ball? 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 Yep. It's Glee talking here, and that's Bean Dog over there. Oh. 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 You missed Doggo. I did it! Hole in 50! Hi, Jen, I do believe it is. Oh. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decorator. Oh. My mistake. <laughs> it's like the stumble in it. Crossing. <clears throat> oh man, I have already forgotten it. Let's see. Oh, I've been thinking of selling treats too. <laughs> Want some fried snow? 
It's just five gold. Sure, Sans, I'd like some water. <laughs> Is it five gold? Uh, I'm in 50. Nah. You're right. Keep That's still yes. too low. Keep saying yes. Sure. I'm on 50 gold. Yeah. Really? I'm on 5,000 gold. 50,000. That's quite a little off. What? You don't have the money? Okay. That's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> Dang it, Sans. I do know what we sound like now. <gasps> it's a doghouse! Smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell, humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Sand has no snow. Hers! Wow! Much doggo. Very woof. Much absent. <gasps> There's a letter! Oh, <coughs> I don't think I'm ready for more papyrus. <coughs> okay. <coughs> I don't think anybody's ready for more papyrus. Human! I hope you're ready for... It's right there. On the ground. Trust me. There's no way that you can pass this one. Monster Kids Word Search. Huh. 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 Okay. Sure. Sure, Sans. Sure. Not. Monster. I, I'm almost thinking that there's like some sort of hidden word in here, but. or hidden message, but. There is no hidden message, it's just a legitimate word. Oh. Oh. I thought it was a little bit, uh. elsewhere. <laughs> You're trying to find something entertaining? Oh. I, I am glad that this is perfect for you then. I'm trying to create entertainment for, well, those I know first, and it's fantastic. I'm already doing what I hope to do. I am pl pleased. <clears throat> Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What?! Crossword?! I can't believe you said that! In my opinion... Junior Jumble is easily the hardest! Really, dude? That easy, easy word scramble? <laughs> That's for baby bones. Unbelievable! Human! Solve this dispute! Which is harder, the Jumble or the Crossword? Crossword. You two are weird! Crosswords are so easy! It's the same solution every time! I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z! Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore! Just, just in time for papyrus, it seems. I hope your ears are doing okay, guys. <laughs> if, if, if their ears are not doing too well, it's papyrus's fault, clearly. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti! But you know the spaghetti is a trap! Trying to entice you! You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize 
as you are progressing. Terribly cheaped again by the great papyrus. <laughs> okay. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the... Um, I can't even warm up the spaghetti. I don't think you'd want to eat papyrus or spaghetti anyway. But they gave me a microwave and everything. He thought of it. He thought it out so well. Uh, it's unplugged. Never mind. Hey, mouse! Mouse is never gonna come out of the hole. Warning, dog marriage. That's an interesting thing to warn us about. It's a doggo! Hi, puppy. Check. Hmm. Pet, 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 pet. Hmm. I think we should pet it. Uh, are you sure? I was thinking about petting. But maybe petting's okay. Oh, should, should, I should ask the chat. What do you guys think I should do? You barely lifted your hand unless your dog got excited! Count X now you, you know what they say. You can like and subscribe. Oh wait, this isn't YouTube yet. <laughs> Happy puppy. Ah, it's an aggressive doggo. Aggressive, squeaky doggo. Lightly touch the dog. It's already overexcited. <gasps> oh wait. Oh, it tricked me. Let's see, dog is barking excited. I can already let the dog go go. But we know what we have to do. We have to pet the doggo. You pet the dog. It raises its head up to meet your hand. Who's the fluffy poopy? Yes, you're right. It's the fluffy poopy. <gasps> Aggressive yipper. Let's Time to spend the rest of our lives petting this dog. Yes. This is the game. This is Undertale. And... Lesser Dog is overstimulated. That... Its excitement knows no bound. Excited noises. Little yippy bark. Oh, you got me. Oops, sorry. I, I forgot that I had it up there. <laughs> Critical pet! Dog excitement increased! Overstimulated pet. You have to jump to pet the dog. The motor revving. It's overstimulated. Pet the dog. You don't even pet it. It gets more excited. <gasps> Plane takeoff noises. As the dog shows no signs of stopping. Pet. There is no way to stop this bandit. Kettle whistling. Pet. As the dog enters the realm of the clouds. <gasps> Lesser dog shows no sign of stopping. You call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. Godspeed, doggo. Godspeed. Oh, hi, puppy. I can reach the lesser dog again. I just noticed its tail, like, wagging a million miles an hour behind it. Don't forget to hit that bell. Oh, I hit the bell so much. Uh, I'll have to make sure to t show you the bell. It's your dog is low. It is mostly a neck. That's your dog is so happy. Dash ones have nothing on that's your dog. Puppy. It's possible that you may have a problem. The problem is that I know I can pet a dog. It's a big problem. Hey puppy. 
stay tuned. This is going to be the next three hours. Such a good dog. Behind the counter just stopped me. I, I don't I don't know why he stopped me. He clearly could have been pet much more. Wields a stone dogger made of palmer granite. Oh. E even that's punny. Okay. It's unpettable but appreciates the attempt. I I'm sure it's gonna keep it's whining because it can't see me. I, I, I'm sure there's a lot more, but uh, I, I know there's more doggos to pet. But, uh, good, good. I think good you doggo. pretty much got it. <laughs> that, that's a good doggo. <laughs> oh, this is just a dead end. Okay, good to know. Good to know. If you find a big old door, then you can do a secret boss. I, I, I found a map. I'm not gonna remember this map. Unless I use memory help. Which I think I will. Just this once. I see. Wait a minute. I actually realized that I legitimately need that map. Or not? Huh. <gasps> Two doggos. <gasps> What's that smell? What is that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. So many blind dogs. <gasps> Here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. <gasps> Doki assaults you. Doki me, Dogressa. Oh, wait. <clears throat> me think. Dogs are too suspicious of you as well. That's not your husband, okay? That was not a good place to hide. Same sickly sweet things to one another. They're love doggos. The dogs sniff you again. But you smell just as weird as before. Not going to be very <laughs> these movement things yet. Oh, of course. Roll around on the certain stuff. Take my wife. It's fleas. Dogs may want to re-smell you. I, I think so. Dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. What? I was like. Puppy. They're attacking a little puppy, how could they? Dogs think you may be a lost puppy. Ow! Pet by another pup! Puppies attack with pets. You pet the dog, Carissa. What about me? A dog that pets dogs is amazing! Oh, I almost got it. The dog's minds have been 
Tox Bandit. Tox can pet dogs. Oh my gosh! Sparkly eyes. You won! Dogs can pet other dogs? New world has opened up for us. Thanks, Red Puppy. into an O, then press the switch. Eh. Oh. I can't just push a rock onto it. I thought that was going to be a literal O. Oh, it's the virus is... <laughs> what?! <laughs> I'll get it eventually. <clears throat> I'll get it eventually. How did you... Boy, my trap! And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? There's some left for you. Really? What? You resisted the flavor of my home cooked pasta! Just, just so you can share it with me? Hang on. Plus, it's heck on the throat, throat, but it's fun. Gotta keep trying. <clears throat> all right, Master Chef Papyrus, we'll make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> Hi. My brother started a sock collection recently. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> okay, see you later. Human! How do I say this? We're taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging snow. Look more like my face! Unfortunately, the snow flows to the ground. Now the solution is different! And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human! I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum! And we can both proceed! Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself! I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, and then press the switch. Okay, okay. I got a pile of cake. Strawberry cake. Um. You can't handle the pound cake. It looks like it's easy enough, per se. Everything's gonna be fine. Did it. Wow! You solved it! I just turned your net off. Oh, you were disconnected for a bit. I didn't... You come back just in time for Papyrus again. Okay, see you later, Sans. Hey! 
It's a human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Elvis! You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color! Each color has a different function! Red tiles are impossible! You cannot walk on them! Yellow tiles are electric! They will electrocute you! Green tiles are land tiles! If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster! Orange tiles are orange scented! Or they will make you smell delicious! Blue tiles are water tiles! Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you! Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you! Purple tiles are slippery, you will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They do not do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Understand the expression? Oh, oh, of course, papyrus. Because I don't want to say it again. I don't want to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course the garbage truck turned off your internet. Of course it did. <laughs> Alright! Then there's one last thing! This puzzle is entirely random! When I pull the switch, it'll make a puzzle that has never been seen before! Not even I will know the solution! <laughs> Ready? You did it. All right, see you later, Papyrus. Actually, the spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. But if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working anymore. <gasps> that machine sure looks familiar. So much snow dogs. Snow dogs. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. Aware of dog. Let's pet dog. Can I have dog to pet? On the floor inside is a deck of palm raisins. Oh. Who is this? I do not think that I've seen this character drawn anywhere. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. I kept trying to build a snow dog that expects its own emotions, but as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. His neck got longer and longer and added more snow until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. So much doggo. <laughs> oh, this one is actually a... Hey, what's down here? Why, it's a snow pyrus and a sandsman. Good job, Sands. Good job. At least he actually did something this time. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> Let's see here, there's no way I can... I, I was never good at these in the Pokemon games to start with. I'm thinking something like... Yeah, I loved how there was an entire cave oh. dedicated to it in silver. I mean, uh, <clears throat> that couldn't possibly go over poorly. A whole cave dedicated to sliding puzzles. This, pu this puzzle was easier than I expected, which is, which is good for me. I 
quiere. Gosh. Did I get a snow hat? Huh. <laughs> Go back and do it again. Okay. I got a different snow hat. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Go down. It sounds... Mm. What's up? Those eyes I in the wall are up. I don't like them. I don't like them. Oh, hi, Sans. Gift rock confronts you. And there's a dog in its antlers. And a stocking. Decorate, undecorate, gifts. I don't understand what you are, but I think you need more decorations. Add some Google eyes you found on the ground. Okay. Okay. Darn teenage googly eyes. Oh, he's a grandpa! Uh, stumbles blindly. You're hurting him. Salmon gift from some teens decorate. I should have looked at it first, of course. Is this funny too? No. Oh, Grandpa, I didn't know you were Grandpa. I, I thought you were a decoration. There you go. Oh, now they're just moving like that. Okay. Small confused dog. See, that's gonna tip for slightly less irritated. I don't know if any of these are particularly bad for me. I know I should need snow. Oh, let's try the monster's candy. Very unlicorice like. Recover 10 minutes. Don't put any more on me. Okay. Okay, Grandpa. I remove a stocking filled with chicken... <laughs> chicken nuggets? That's great! I'll eat the chicken nuggets! Where do monsters get the chicken from? Uh, that's a good question. Looks like he's still got a stamp on his forehead. Childhood photograph of Snow Drake in his hand. Why has been lifted? Does that mean you're happy or are you gonna be angry? It's been taken away. There, there you go. Jeez, he looks ferocious after that. Uh, hey, Sans. Say, so, are you following me? Did you find the magic door? I found a door. I think it's the door. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. It's a door. It sure is. Squeakies! I'm sure there's an order to this. There is an order. I don't remember what it is, but it's the secret one. Beep. Also, if you walk around in front of there for three minutes, about three minutes, you'll encounter a uh, secret boss. God, it's not that fat dragon thing, is it? Is this his house? It's... it's not. It's not? Okay. Three minutes, huh? Then I guess I might as well start working on the solution, which could take three minutes anyway. Wait, pressing, it's a door. It's not even like saying it's locked or anything, so I guess it'll open automatically after I get the right combination? Question mark? Uh, I think so, but I think it's kind of like really crazy. 
I know most people haven't been able to get into it. But if it's just a combination, then it's... I already did that combination. Because there's only four things. So three minutes, huh? That's what it says. This this would be one of those times where I would just use a jump cut, but <laughs> hmm. I might actually have to edit the jump cut. <laughs> well, it's a good time to try. know if there's anything special about it, but I'm probably not even doing it in, the, in any particular anything. So it's not just a light puzzle. No, it's actually very... It, it's pretty overkill, but it gets you to like a secret room. Well, I'm sure there's like a solution for it somewhere um, inside the game. I don't think there is. Really? These mushrooms are very squeaky. Attack the mushroom! I don't know if stopping to poke at the mushrooms is make stopping the encounter from happening. Most people just run in circles constantly. To be fair, they, they both sound like terrible options. So I'm just randomly clicking on the mushrooms instead of nothing. I don't know if he's programmed by continuous movement or not. Is that it? I think so. There's only one person you can encounter here. Oh. So, what is this thing? Tag high yeah. defense. I've never actually fought this guy before. I kind of wanted to see it for a while. Sorry for nothing but lies. Ow, bastard. Oh, well, I can't believe I said that one, but... Uh... This is not going to go very well. An illustration of a hug. There are 15 sheep. Wow, check my packs. No! Get out of here, yo. Light is giving itself a high five somehow. Pretty self-centered, so he probably wants some applause. Really sloppily sucks up your praise like a vacuum cleaner. Okay, I rule. Admit it. That was a fantastic encounter. supposed to accomplish. Oh good, I get to do the puzzles again. They're the best part. I'm sure you don't have to voice everything. It's a snow puff. It's 
is also a snow puff. This is a snow puff. Uh, this is a snow puff. Science is wolf. But a tiny dog house. A snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Now hold on, a snow puff. Eh? There's dirty gold inside this. What is this? It's money. It's a dog puff. Perf, perf. Hi, Grader Dog, how you doing? Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Grader Dog is seeking affection. Pat the puppy. And then it wakes up. It's so excited. Darn it, doggy, you tricked me. Your dog is patting the ground with its grip, with its paws. Do you want to play, puppy? Throw a snowball in for the dog to fetch. I love this song. It's what you think of every time you see the dog. Yeah! I can't get dog song out of my head either. A puppy splats on the ground. Picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It writes his head on you. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I'm supposed to do that. Great, your dog wants more pets. There you go, puppy. To you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. There it is. Pet capacity is 40%. Pet dog. Pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with his legs hanging in the air. Darn tricky dog. Great, your dog is contented. I better get out of here before he dogs me! You won! Just looking at the greater dog, it, it makes me notice that there's like a face in his gauntlet too. I wonder He's if... wearing dog armor. That makes sense. I, I was just thinking that there was going to... Okay. Bye, doggo. I thought it was made up of multiple dogs. Rickety old bridge. A thousand feet off the ground. Let's go. Ah. I have a virus. <clears throat> Humor! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! Ah. Huh. Doggo. When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am! <laughs> I will never keep his voice consistent. <laughs> it just keeps grating into the throat, but. Papyrus, he must have his voice. About to do it. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! What? Hold up! I, I, I'm about to activate it now. Oh, no, what my brother's gonna do now. If I were 
are you? I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Welcome to Snowden. You made it! I somehow survived! The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? I will leave you. Bye. Because I have an important business to attend to. I need to use the box and take out these weapons. Because I'm thinking I don't need them. Sell something. Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... <sighs> I started spending money on all branches and bandages that we out of... What a jerk! This manly bandana has apps on it. Okay. A bicycle. Cinnamon bun. Cinnamon bun 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 bun. Bun bun. If you're tired, she, she looks so upset that I asked her a question. She doesn't look upset. Really? Huh. I'm tired, you can take a nap at the end. It's right next door, my sister runs it. If you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. Showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Okay, thanks. See you later. Right now, come again sometime. I might not. Well, there's not too much you can do in a shop. Once you buy something, once you buy your equipment, you're pretty much set. Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. See you later. I'll bring you to come back at any time. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Really? Is that so? It's actually interesting information. Oh. Uh, bun 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 booty because it was looking at her butt. I don't, I don't think I was. I, I think that she was just sitting cross-armed behind the counter. Well, I couldn't I don't know. try. You I kind of wanted to look at her butt. Don't want to walk to the other side of town. Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. It's the bun walker! Is it my little Sammy just the cutest? Bun buns are just so adorable. Disturbs me. Fuck the baby. Waffles teens lurmented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition for you to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Can I have a present? Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Oh. You're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Yeah. Good job. This town doesn't have a mayor. If there's ever a problem, skeleton will tell you officially about it. Uh, it's politics. Big, slow, bear voice. Yeah. Not all of those bears are slow. Sure they are. It's a monster mean. kid. Hi, doggies. Dog, 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 dog. I don't know you. Who are you? Is it human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I wonder if you try it sometime. Oh, okay, sure. Hello, old duck thing. Hold out a line. 
for some girls today. Someone told me that there are, but, uh, uh, it was his picture. I will be checking out that mouse with the scarf in a minute. There's the stream delay, of course, so I can just go between the chat and the... What are we going to try and make out with a fit? Uh, I know a few people that want to make out with that fish. Of course. Of course they do. These dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Hey, Grillby. Grillby said she'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Capital K, pretty crowd, it's your head, they can't stop moving here. Mm. I don't want to see you raise your overload of costume. I definitely want to see some cheese slick and slip onto your butts. Yeah. Two boxes is broken. Doggy, 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 doggy. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Oh, poor dog. <laughs> Leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Yes, doggo. You better watch where you sit in here, kid, because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. Or sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. It just occurred to me that this thing sitting on the table is probably a person, too. It's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks! <laughs> Hot guys! Oh. So that's how you are. Hello, Scarf Mouse. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would like to join them. Perhaps she's not very funny. Has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. So why be morose about it? Tiny <laughs> squeaky mouse. Hang on. Right. What? It's up here. Let's play monsters and humans. Uh, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Sure! Uh, my patience rewards me. I kind of thought he'd get, start getting upset. Dog, what are you doing? Ah! Nice delivery system. Convenient. Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Is the wrong number? The wrong. Why? Why is there? Where is this song for a wrong number? Oh, they're they're singing this oh, song wow. to me. You got the wrong number song. That's really rare. <laughs> really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. It's a very rare Easter egg, and you got it on your first try. Okay. jeez. <sighs> oh, there's more lizard peoples. Look onto the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Good look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? I love working on the newspaper. 
there's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monsters' souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swampland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Sure, let's go to the other side. That should be score part about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. And their essence will live on in that thing. Uh -huh. What if your favorite thing is someone that you're married to? Interesting. Black for every guy. Page minimum yet, I'm kind of tired of writing. Monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Okay. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Oh. It's your works. He's improvement. Because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Let's end the chapter here. I learned so little. Yeah, the eye Burberry. You've got mail! This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Oh. <laughs> oh. Or Papyrus. It's locked. It's locked from the inside. I like it when I knock. Session fusions, you say? It's so cold. I'm frozen solid. Human! Allow me to tell you some about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be to feel that way. After all, I am very great. This is not papyrus. Anywho, I don't ever wonder what's Having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your. No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard! Alright, Papyrus. Check, flirt, insult. Who wouldn't want to flirt with Papyrus? What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards! 
I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming. Oh, I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all of my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date later after I capture you! Oh. Virus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later after I capture you! Day. Examine for virus. He likes to say nya. <laughs> there is no wrong way to approach Papyrus. Papyrus dab some bone cologne behind his ear. Papyrus is a cinnamon bun. Dad's marinara sauce behind his ear. Okay. You flirt, but to no avail. It seems acting won't escalate this battle. Oh, okay, Papyrus. Papyrus jabs that MTT brand fishy cream behind his ear. Keep staring at Papyrus. <laughs> MTT Brands Anime Powder behind his ear. <laughs> Papyrus sure is getting ready. He seems very distracted. Papyrus stabs MTT Brand cute juice behind his ear. You just carrying all this stuff around? Okay, Papyrus. Okay. He has to be ready for whatever comes. Stress MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. I'm sure marinara sauce has a lot of uses. Marinara sauce is delicious. MTT brand beauty yogurt behind his ear. Hey, to be fair, I'm not twerking at him. I'm just staring him at him, seeing what he's doing. I'm just as confused as Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Well. <laughs> smells like bones. over at my phone for a minute and I missed the last Attack. 
Cyrus prepares a non-bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Almost takes my future popularity! These are tall bones. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! Oops. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Papyrus! Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. The king of Trim Trench in the shape of my smile! I messed up on that one because I was too busy laughing. <coughs> yes, Hang Papyrus it, is the best. Papyrus whispers. Applied the bandage. It's still kind of gooey. Anyone like me as sincerely as you? No papyrus. They won't. Those skeletons used to dance in those old cartoons. That's pro that's probably it. He's probably dancing. Some of my kill is really rare. Oh gosh. I wasn't ready for that one. Paris is preparing a bone attack. And dating might be kind of hard. Wait. Papyrus, don't do it! it smells like the bones. This is my last chance! Before my special attack! Okay. Darn it, Papyrus. Papyrus is rattling his bones again. Darn it, Papyrus. Behold my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special 
attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. The virus is getting ready for a regular attack. Sure. Here's an absolutely normal attack! I like that attack better, but it hit still hates me. Tell me that's all you got, Papyrus. Tell me that's all you got. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pretty. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Thanks, Papyrus! Jeez. <laughs> I can't believe someone as weak as you! Iodine's going to be disappointed in me! I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant! Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? I didn't even finish my sentence, Papyrus. <laughs> well then! I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you! Wow! We haven't even had our first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone! Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lie, human. I hear my grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital across the barrier, that's the magical seals trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing connects it. Except for someone with a powerful soul, like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh. I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters, he is... well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home, being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> He's walking on sunshine. I think I will take a few steps back, which might be dangerous. No, back in Snowden. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I'd like to spend a lot of time. My house! Uh, okay, Papyrus. Okay. I'll be in in a minute, buddy. <laughs> I'm, th I'm thinking I need to go to the hospital. Uh, inspital. Probably should If you go it. into a safe point and save, it'll restore all your health. Oh. That kind of... Oh no, the inn doesn't become useless because they said that it can heal past my health. So. Alright. That's better. Tunnel. 
now we have to play the most important part of the game. Huh. I never noticed that glowing aura from underneath that door before. Anyhow! It's a joke book. Take a look at the no. Yeah. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was just another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Okay. Welcome to Scenic My House! Enjoy and take your time! It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. Well, it's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Oh. So there's not anything on the air yet. It's a dirty, ups it's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Fans, please pick up your sock. <laughs> okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. <laughs> okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. <laughs> Ah, yes. 
action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right, Santa! Isn't that flat needle? I'm getting found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> That's my bay. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <coughs> okay, papyrus. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Sure, papyrus. Sure. Okay, date <coughs> start. <coughs> oh. Okay. Here we are, on a date. Before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one press the C key on your keyboard for dating hug. Son. I feel so informed. Egg. Egg. Okay. I think we're ready for step two. <sighs> step two. Ask them on a date. <laughs> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. For part three! Yeah, step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning! Sure, Papyrus. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! I know your dating power! <laughs> Don't think you've passed me yet! I, the great Papyrus, never been beaten at dating! I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. <laughs> Dang it, Papyrus. Uh, uh, in fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Style. It's fantastic, Papyrus. Where'd you get those basketballs? No! A genuine compliment! Uh, however, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Th therefore, oh. what you just said is invalid. This thing won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. Do you know what this 
Jesus! Spaghetti? Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But also wrong! This isn't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti. Finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. It looks good. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively crunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passion and expression! You must really love my cooking! And by extension, maybe! Maybe even more than I do! unsteady the whole time, but I think that this is one that's not going to be drilling into my throat too badly. Mm -hmm. uh, he he might have just gotten a <coughs> boner, as you say. <coughs> Maybe. Who? You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to to be happy, too? It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, the virus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, this should. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, and I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. And alas, I, the great papyrus, failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark person of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait. That's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these tying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> If you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Thanks, Papyrus. Thanks. It's hard making a character that, that's self-centered, but also that lovable. Thanks, Papyrus. <clears throat> Sand store's still locked. Okay. See, see you later, Papyrus.